hill where there was one lone pine tree. And at the bottom of that pine tree was sleeping. Thank you. 
moved in. And once you start noticing that with Hummus Yubai, you may have noticed this, but after I noticed this with Hummus Yubai, I started noticing, of course, they use that in films all the time, too. When you want people to be really involved and have that heightened emotional connection to something, you zoom in. So this is a visual technique that really shows how Hummus Yubai is not so much like picture books, but much more like movies. So, um, and again, I use these stories not because there aren't a lot of stories that show these kinds of techniques, but these are really the plainest examples of them, uh, if you want to get a lot. And I think, um, just like there are lots of really bad picture books out there, there are a lot of Kamisi by artists who don't understand these techniques. A lot of them just do picture books and they think they can translate it to Kamisi by. And what happens is you get much less interesting Kamisi by. You know, it's basically looking like a big, looking at a big um, but Kami Shibai is supposed to be about movement, and, and it's a challenge to make really, really um, interesting ones. Okay, so, what other goodies I got back here for you. Um, and to show this, I have done some copies. This is the one way to get um, kids to think about the connection to manga and anime. This is not from that book, Eric Nash's book, but from another book. But I just love these vortex. There's just so much happening in this. Um, and these kind of vortex pictures, which you know, even the background is giving you a sense of the movement. Um, it's just a wonderful way to talk about how, even with a still image, you can get a lot of movement in the car. It's very cinematic. Yeah. The first one, it's not too big for Kamishi Bai. Well, this is what's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, because actually, well, this would be like one of those really climactic moments when the evil fish, I guess, I'm not sure, I don't even know what the story is. This was just an image that I was really taken by. Um, and this is a koi or a carp, right? Um, so there's a lot going on, but probably when they were performing it, they wanted it to look like that kind of scene where you know it's explosive and the fish is coming out attacking all these people with their tails are being thrown in all directions. And this that's the same sort of thing with this one, right? Kind of all the boxes. But if you really look at it, there are not that many extraneous details. It's more about creating a sense of movement with the lines. They're like motion lines. 